Hello everyone, welcome back to our Spring Boot video series. In previous video, we have implemented CRUD operation in our application. And in this video, we are going to implement Swagger. And here we will learn how to document our API using this Swagger or I can say Open API. And trust me, this will make our API easier to understand. So first of all, we have to get the Swagger Maven. So now we are using Jakarta because the latest JP is not using Java X. That's why we cannot integrate with Swagger 2. We have to use Swagger 3. So how we can get Swagger 3? Just go to your browser and just search Maven Spring Doc Open API Starter. So you can see the latest version. Currently they are using 2.6. So let's copy this one. Go to your pom.xml because all the dependency we have to configure here only. If you don't want to use the version, then you can just delete it. So we have done the swagger integration. Why? What happened? You are surprised? Don't be surprised. Let's run. Then you will understand. Go to your browser and just type localhost. Currently we are running the port as 8080. Then just use swagger hyphen UI slash index dot HTML. Boom. You can see all the API is here itself. So this is the get, put, delete, get, post, here get by user ID and this is the get all user. So in case if you open, you can see the response data type and this is the input we have to pass so let's try to use like postman so currently we have a user and that id is one so let's type one and click on execute so you can see we are getting here curl response request url and this is the response so you can see how it is perfectly working so you no need to again go to the postman and always remember the API name and data type. So here using the swagger, it is very easy for us to track everything. And currently we are using version 3 and we have one schema that is called user. So you can see ID, name and email. So these are the variable of that user schema. And using the post, you can create a new user. Whenever you want to use it, just click on try it. And here you can pass the data so that's it for now be ready for next tutorial video